All right, test, 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 test. <clears throat> A rumor that the Secret Wars movie in development, uh, apparently Kevin Feige has said something along the lines of uh, that it may be a soft reboot for the Marvel Universe and you know, reintroduce characters from the past. Uh, now, though, there's more rumors out there. You can find this on Variety.com and some other places, but there's a nice uh, write-up here on Variety.com about uh, some apparent rumors that they may reintroduce uh, a new uh, well create a new avengers movie with the original six characters right and bring back mm -hmm. iron man bring back black widow bring back captain america so just bring everybody back so how do they well, do it's it it's possible now it is possible it's true, with sure the, with the multiverse and everything loki, else loki alone if you've been watching this the um this season 2 loki alone mm -hmm. can explain it um, Loki alone is going to explain, I guess, um, how the uh, 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 Deadpool movie is going to work. Or not explain, but it's going to give an opening to Deadpool to work. Mm -hmm. To come, you know, from Sony or wherever it came from to the MCU. And that's going to bring you, from, from my understanding, from some of the rumors, is that it's going to bring you uh, different X-Men. It's going to bring you different, um, it's like... Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, the, the the blind uh, um, Daredevil. Daredevil, but it's going to give you um, Ben Affleck's Daredevil. Mm. Like it's going to incorporate and, and walk across all these multiverses, and not, it's going to do. And again, I'm just getting this from what I've read, but hopefully, it's going to do what I was hoping the multiverse of madness was going to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was it's going to incorporate all these different products and, and 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 movies intertwined. Even if they don't do anything with them, just kinda like at the end of this uh Flash movie where they just kinda had cameos of the different universes. That I'm fine with that too. You know what I mean? Just let's let's see let's mix it up and see a bunch of different little things. But it also gives you the opportunity to at the end when all the dust settles to go, we're starting over. Because Nick, are you? I don't know how far you are into the uh, Loki series. Zero episodes. All right, this makes it fun. <laughs> um, well, I mean, you should have been watching it. So, I mean, I've seen the first season. Okay, but but yeah. the idea is the um, well from the first season, from the last episode of the first season, yeah. he explained that it's a circle that it will always just keep going around. Right. Because when you s s plunge that knife into my chest. The war will happen, and ultimately at the end, I will just end up here again. So it's all a cir circle. Everything that, that happened will happen always again and again. Just keep going. So in theory, you can reboot it and go from 616, that uh, the sacred timeline universe, and you can go 919 or, or uh, 248. You know, you can go all these different... Uh, multiverses and and start your story there. So that way you're not just literally doing the Robert Downey Jr. doing the beginning of uh, uh, Iron Man. You can do it in a different way with the same character, same actor, just in a different way because each universe is going to be slightly different. So you can take all these uh, characters, not only reboot them and, and, and do it in an Avengers movie, you can do it in a different way. So yeah. that's what I, I'm excited about, if that is the route they're going. Yeah, so like you say, certainly they have a lead in for it. And then, as we've talked recently as well, I mean, the whole, you know, Jonathan Majors playing Kang in general, for one, it's it's kind of a complicated storyline a little bit. And then obviously the actor himself has personal issues with being accused of some not so good things. So... You know, is he, do they want to continue with him in general because of the bad press? Will he, he will, <laughs> will he be under incarceration? Who knows, right? So there's a lot of, a lot of you things happening that is, there. They can change what he looks like to a different actor just and call it a variant. You and they just kind of move in that direction. Yeah, that's true. true. I mean, they've, they've, I feel, have they done, they've done that with other people where they've just changed the, 
Yeah. Change well, the actor. female version of Loki that's on the Loki right. uh, yeah. series, right? So you could no, but but do he's talking about that. actors changing roles. Uh, Rhodes did it. Uh, they had uh, uh, Don Cheeto take over for uh, what's his name. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was where they just didn't explain it. Um, but, uh, Hulk himself was originally yeah. uh, uh, Edward Norton. Well, two other guys, really. Yeah. yeah. No, well, mm-hmm. it, was, it was. It was. Um, but neither of those really existed. In no, no, no. Nope. Right. Edward Norton. Ed, nope. Edward Norton is the MCU. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. If, if you go and look at came, yeah, Abomination yep. and the leader. Ed, Edward came Norton out of that, is yeah. is um, Mark Ruffalo, so to speak. Okay. Kind of like Don Cheadle took over for. Why am I mis- forgetting that guy's name? But anyways, he took he took over for another guy. So yeah, that you know, it, it's kind of like in the soap operas when they would pause and, and the announcer would go, uh, <laughs> "Philip Brooks will now be played by Tom Smart," and then it would just sure. continue the scene. Yeah, or you, or the Ooh. Darrens in Bewitched. Ooh, I like that. Nick, Nick, this gives us a lead in. Uh, Here we go. For the future as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> All right. The part of Zeddy will be played by Joey. <laughs> Joe, Joe Wood. Yeah. A I handsome like man enters. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, Joey's going to have to learn how to grow a goddamn beard. But, <laughs> yep. Anyway. He doesn't no, need so to hide I, his face with a beard. Yeah. There you have it. <laughs> That's a valid well, point. It, well, all those factors there, and then it, frankly, just people aren't don't seem to be as interested in Marvel Phase Four. I mean, the Marvels is coming out next week, right? Yeah, yeah I believe so. so. I mean, are you super stoked to go see this one? I mean, I'll, I'll watch it. I, but... I don't know about stoked, but it looks entertaining. Yeah. Okay. I've not seen a lot of any of the content of those characters. So, like, I know, like, yeah, Robin and Lane TV are going to go watch it. Years. <laughs> right. I know Robin and Lane are going to go watch it because they like those, but, like, I, I don't really, I'm not super familiar with any of them. Well, so maybe the big, so here's our question. So, do you like the idea of them just bringing back the original six again, same actors, everything, whether it be some variant form, or they just say, I'm back? You know, whatever happens, so the multiverse sure. or this or that, something yeah. happen, happens all the time in the comics, as we know. Uh, do you want to see another movie with the original six, or is, is Marvel just, you know, reaching and just trying to get a cash grab here and see what happens? Uh, you know, certainly the storyline in the Avengers movies was a very good storyline, a very good arc. You know, so it ended very well, I thought, right? So, but again, you know, cash is king and Disney movies aren't making as much in general, period, right? So they need a win here. And certainly that might be, well, it might be, it would certainly be another huge blockbuster. Uh, People would go see it. I mean, I would certainly go see that without question. It'd be another billion dollar movie. Easily, I would think. But uh, I don't know. Nick, what do you think? Is it just, are they just... Rehashing stuff that's it's now getting in the past, or are you fine with one more movie, one more storyline? You know, what do you think about all this? I think the cool thing is we're not that far removed from all, so it's not like these are, you know, like outdated. You know, it's not like it's Wheeling, like Michael Keaton coming. I was going to say Batman. Yes, all those years perfect later. example. Right. It's not Which Wheeling, Michael Keaton back thirty sure. four yeah. years later. Right, like you said, nothing wrong with that, but that definitely stinks a little more. Of like, this is gimmicky. This is to, you know, get you interested. This, you know, we're not that far removed from from the the original, you know, Avengers movies and things like that. These these people are all still uh, very in their prime uh, as actors and in physically good shape and all that stuff. You could totally do mm-hmm. more with them, and I think that would be just fine. But it, I think, is a fine line be- between that and when does this turn into professional wrestling? Wrestling, where you just keep bringing the same people back because you know they're the ones that people love. You know, mm-hmm. like when are they the Undertaker and Hulk Hogan? Well, and the, like you're like. First of all, okay. I will always, I will always pop when you throw that glass breaking and Stone Cold coming out to kick ass. I'm right. always gonna pop for that. The problem is that they have to rely on yesteryear's product to get you excited today. So mm-hmm. it's where is the new thing? Where is you know, th- there must be something just because I think like, and we talked about this in a previous episode. There are ebbs and flows, right? Mm-hmm. So 
Marvel was at the top as top of the mountain, as as high as you can be. There's nowhere to go but down. So when you pivot to different characters, to lesser known pivot. characters, and pivot. things like that, pivot, pivot. Oh, shot, up, shot, up, shot, up. Yes, when you pivot, um, you um, you're gonna lose some of that momentum. But when you hit that valley, that means you can peak back up, right? So, um. I don't know what the answer exactly is. I don't know if I, I'm not opposed to them doing more. Corporate with structure the original doesn't story. allow for pivots, right? Yeah, but it, it's yeah. I mean, at what like I said, at what point do you go? Okay, like you've put a nice little bow, and sometimes I think it's okay to just be like, "This is fine. This was a nice thing we had. We all enjoyed it. It'll always be there." You know, it's okay to let that be the storyline that it is. Um, I guess I'm on the fence, like not even on the fence. I'm cool either way. Like I don't, you know what I mean. But right. I understand from a, my life. I understand from a business standpoint that you know cash is king here. They need to be making money. That's what they're in the business of, and it does matter to them. You know how these new characters are being received, or if it makes more sense to go back to something that people are uh, a little tied a little closer to. You know that they're more invested in these characters. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't. I wouldn't see a problem if they, if they, even if it would blatantly be just a cash grab. If they were to bring back all the actors and all the characters you love and just go up, oh, it's the multiverse and ah, it's just a different <laughs> timeline of the guy. You can do that. You can do that with sure. anything. It's comic book stuff. It's all silly. It's made up. It's superheroes. It doesn't. It's, mm-hmm. it, there's no rules. You don't have to, you know, do this or that. But um, and like but you I said about think, professional wrestling, you can say. Didn't the Undertaker get buried a couple months ago? Right. Or at what point? I mean, he... this is fine now, but let's not be doing this 15, 20 years from now and be like, okay, give these guys a break. Like, you know what I mean? Like, well, the reason we Nick, get is, it. is the charisma. Um, it all comes down to charisma. Um, you took, you, you found, you didn't need lightning in the bottle. You took Robert Downey Jr. He already won a fucking Oscar, right? And you start this whole franchise this whole avengers marvel franchise with him of course i mean he's one of the most charismatic on and off the screens and then you move on to chris evans and uh thor uh helmsworth helmsworth right and and you have all of these and, and it was the perfect storm for all these characters that come together that work together all well so you know together on one screen and come to the Avengers movie and and Age of Ultron. You did all that, and it just kept growing and growing to, like, it it ballooned, where, like, sooner or later it's going to pop, right? Um, And it did. You know, you you have Endgame, and there you go. You kill off a couple here and there, and you go, like you said, let's try Young Blood. Let's try a Roman Reigns, uh, because Stone Cold went ahead and retired. So let's try these new wrestlers, these new characters. And what happened was you took, um, and the movie I'm thinking of is that damn, um, um, uh, what was, Brian, what was the, um, where they were all gods? Um, oh, Eternals. No, Eternals. Eternals yes. Yeah, yeah. So you took mm-hmm. Eternals and go, oh, this guy's going to be the thing shit. This guy's going to, you know what I mean? And they didn't count that they didn't have the, and those actors were just fine in the roles. They're great in other things they've done, but they're not Robert Downey Jr. You know what I mean? Like they, they don't yeah. have that pop, that charisma that he had. And I think that's what they were hoping for is to find these new young actors. They just didn't have it. They, yeah. Not only that, the characters didn't have it and definitely the writing didn't have it. I yeah. don't, I can't speak on like where that went wrong. Cause you know, none of us are behind the scenes. In, in whatever production or whatever, but the writing, I, to me, was the biggest drop off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A and, lot of it seemed forced and, go ahead. Well, I was just gonna, to your point, I mean, we, and I think we talked about it in a past episode, but like, Guardians of the Galaxy was a super niche thing. Yeah. I didn't even know what mm-hmm. the hell that was. Right, was but the writing they're was massive amazing. because the casting, the writing, the, just everything. They, yeah. they they hit on every cylinder. They got the right people to play and the parts. If you want the right way, you, you you had a wrestler with Dave Batista, and so there's our uh, there you go. our meshing of our uh, uh, right. argument. But yeah. yeah, Brian, ultimately that that's my argument is that you, they didn't have the right charisma of the actors. 
uh, and the writing charisma that they did in the beginning. So they so they tried. Mm. It didn't quite work. Um, so now they want to pivot and 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 bring them back. Why wouldn't you? It, it's it's comic books. It's wrestling. Right. It's it's fantasy. Why wouldn't yes. you just bring? You know, if you can. You have smart enough writers, and and the comic books, like you said, Brian, have done it over and over and over. Mm-hmm. And that's what these are: is living comic books. So, right. and you being the, I mean, you're more familiar with a lot of these comic book characters as they were originally in comics, anyway. Like, what I mean, do you feel? What, what do you think about that? Do you feel yeah. like it can be done just as well, or in a different way with Young Blood, or do do they need those actors? I think honestly, I mean, it's if some of these other movies would have been more of a hit, and I, I don't even mean necessarily even the Marvel movies. Honestly, Indiana Jones didn't hit like they thought it was going to hit. You know, the Star Wars, you know, uh, you know, kind of fizzled. Obviously, we, we've talked about that. Some of the you know, newer TV content's good, but the other Disney properties just have not been performing as well. So the studio in itself is like it's hey, unfair. Man, I'm just saying it's you know, th- but still. The, the, you're you're Bob Iger, right? You're just you're you're a charge to make money, and you're you got to look at the big picture. You're you're not looking at just the Marvel properties necessarily, but that's you, that was a huge money maker for your business, and what you're putting out there is not generating the same level of excitement. It just isn't. There's interesting characters. Shang Chi, excellent movie, loved it. Sure, the Marvels is interesting. It's intriguing. I mean, I'll, I'll go see that movie. Doctor Strange, you know. Like, interesting love character. character, you know, love it, love uh, him in a role and all that stuff. It's, uh, it's, but it's just not generating the same level of excitement as those characters and those oh, actors that play them. There's what? the question. What is though? What is generating people going to the movies? Barbie, Oppenheimer. They were well, the, the, the two biggest movies of the year, right? But what well, my point is, is Taylor Swift. Taylor, yeah, well, like the, the Taylor sure. Swift movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually, yeah. Well, it's superhero here, here, fatigue a little bit. Sure. Yep. I don't know. Well, all right. So since Nick started and, and I continued, let's continue on the uh, idea trope of professional wrestling. Um, when you had Hulk Hogan in the 1980s mixed with uh, uh, rock and wrestling and MTV, I mean, it was at its fucking peak, right? Like, I mean, just making hand over fist money, right? Um and then the 90s come along, Paul Hogan leaves and goes, does whatever shitty movies and goes WCW. Um, you're left with Bret Hart and, and Shawn Michaels, who are fantastic wrestlers. But they just weren't Hulk Hogan, right? Mm-hmm. In any, if you would have looked at it from any other metric and not the Hulk Hogan metric, you'd have been just fine. But you're right. comparing it to this metric of what you had. Right. Right. Which, unfortunately, like ratings for any TV now, like you can't look at um, whatever TV shows on right now on on ABC. You can't look at that and go, "It's not doing ER numbers." Well, of course not. Nobody's going to do ER numbers. That's not that's not t- how TV is watched, and that's not how movies are watched. I so, just, I'm just saying, it's just, and the, I agree with you. Ahead. It, it is, the, it is the, it is the, um, the money hungry, uh, executives, and they're not even hungry. I mean, that's their job, right? It, it, it's unfair to call them hungry, you know, and make them the bad guy. They're, they're there to do a job. Um, but the idea is that, like, they need or want to make money for their shareholders, but it's just not the same that it was 10, 15 years ago. I get it. It's just they haven't found that hit. You know, they, ha- they haven't found something to really hit. And I guarantee you, you and imagine they will. they will. Well, yeah, eventually. And, then, and some of these other characters may still yet be a hit and all that. You know, and I think they're going to revisit the amount of content. You know, and you know the quality of the content they're putting out. They're going to have to anyway with the writers' deals and everything else we've talked about too. But. Uh, but I, right now, though, if you if you imagine any movie, like say at the end of the Marvels, not that it's going to happen, but if if like, at the if the post credit scene was fucking uh, Iron Man coming back or something like that, that would be the fucking biggest buzz. Blow everybody's in, mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and, and yeah. you would be if Robert Downey Jr. was there in any form, you would be talking about that 
and waiting, 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 waiting until in the second that the movie came out, you'd be paying a ticket, you know, buying, you know, buying a ticket to go see it. So I don't know. I think it, I think they, I think they, I think whatever they, you want. Sure. I think they have to infuse cash into it, generate excitement again. And I also know that they're, you know, smart enough to know that they I mean, that can't continue. They're going to have to figure something out that's going to continue the excitement or accept the fact that they, like you said, that the, it just, it's just not going, it's, it's, it's past, you know, the level of excitement and enthusiasm for these movies is sort of dwindling some, maybe we're not capturing some of the younger, you know, so maybe the Marvel's just going to be here instead of up here. You have to sort of accept that and then find something else, some other property or other character or the universe or something else out there to, you know, bring in more money for your business and find something different. You know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Yeah. I think they'll do it personally. I think they will do it. I agree. As long as, it, yeah. as long as the actors are willing to do it, you know, obviously the actors are going to command a huge uh, payday for that. But I think it, I think they'll find it's probably worth to to pay them to do that. And there's, then we'll see. We'll things, see what happens. There's, there's things that have been teased already, like uh, uh, Zeus. You know, you have the Fantastic Four, which has already been cast. That they have, yeah. you know, have an ex- You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Fantastic Four is a huge property that sure. now in the MCU, you know, and I think they're they waiting praying. for that. Oh, they are yeah. praying that that does well, man. I've heard that but Jake Gyllenhaal is going to come back and do Reed Richards for that. And it's like they'll, but it's, but it's the Fantastic Four from a different universe. That's what I hear. It's going to be a, a Fantastic sure. Four from a different universe, not from our Earth. And I and, and I think they're holding, and, and again, I, I, we're getting off topic of this, but I'm going to guess mm-hmm. your they're holding off the um, casting announcement because next year, or it was at the end of this year, the um, Deadpool movie, mm-hmm. Deadpool three, that will be the post credit scene. Okay, that's possible. my guess. That's why they're holding off. So it's like a huge reveal. Like that's how you mm-hmm. s- announce a cast because you'll see those four. Yep. Somehow, some way. Okay. All okay. right. Good stuff. So, just quick, do you think they're going to do the Avengers with the original sixty? Um, one way or the other, yes. I don't. I don't know if they're going to bring it back fully and do a whole another run or series. But within this multiverse, you're going to see the six together again somehow, some way. Okay, Nick, what do you think? I would say the same. Eventually, like mm-hmm. it, I don't know if it'll be in a couple of years from now or if it'll be a Michael Keaton and the Flash thing, but I think eventually you will see some type of big reunion like that. Okay, very yep. good. We'll see. We will. Hey, did you like that video? You know you did, and we know you did. So stop screwing around and go like that video. Subscribe to our channel and join us for some more.